I like it too. It kind of caught me off guard. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it. Is it new? Sounds like, uh, no, uh, but it sounds like the Friends. Oh, right at the beginning? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, hey, Chief Meteorologist Seinfeld. Ken Barlow. Seinfeld. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say Friends. It. No, is joining us here at 930 because it's time for us to open up the Minnesota Live mailbag, and you love being part of this segment. I, I know do. you do. <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> apparently, this is also a, a favorite segment of those up on the second floor of our building. They really like it. Glad to have you we guys. We don't work on the second floor. Watching this morning. We work uh, in the floor. dungeon. So no matter where you're watching us from, your home, 10th floor of your apartment building, whatever, uh, let us know what you think about Minnesota Live. It's easy to get a hold of us. Email minnesotalive at kstp.com. You can also post on Facebook, on Instagram. You can send us a message and one of our producers will reply. Okay, so earlier this month, the University of Minnesota entomologist stopped by to educate us about dragonflies. Like, we were having dinner one night, we looked out the window, it seemed like there were a bazillion of them, so we called someone in and said, are we seeing more dragonflies? And the answer was no. They don't really track <laughs> dragonflies because they're good insects, so they don't really track them. But we started talking, right, about dragonflies and kind of what happens to them, how long they live, all that kind of good stuff. Then you started emailing us. A couple of you had comments. Or maybe we should say fables about dragonflies. For instance, Gail emailed us, and Gail wrote, When I was little, I was told that if you say a bad word, they would sew your mouth shut. You, I was told that. Yeah. The my dragonflies mother, My one? mother told me that. Huh. Did it my make you, mother told me that. Did it make you not want to say bad words? No. I swore all the time. <laughs> Did it scare you, uh, uh, dragonflies? <laughs> uh, not at all. I, yeah. you, know who, you know who got me over that fright? Our, my son Patrick, when he was 10, he's 35 now, yep. he used to go out and catch them. And I would go with him, and he put it on his finger, and I was like, well, if he can do it, I can do that. So. Yeah? Yeah, that's... Look at that. Got me right out of my fear. Kids teach us a lot, don't they? Yes. So here's the deal. Our producers did a little bit more digging. And as children, some of us were told that dragonflies would sew our ears shut if we didn't behave. In Swedish folklore, dragonflies, dragonflies are said to pick out human eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Glad my mom didn't say that. <laughs> Norwegians. Think, dude, think about fairy tales and all the like ridiculous things like kids get stuck in their heads. <laughs> Norwegians call them eye pokers. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. Apparently, but not all societies consider them fearsome. Navajo people consider them a symbal of pure water. Hmm. So oh, we all learned a little something there you from that. That was fun. I did yeah. not know that the dragonfly segment was going to take that turn. You, you never know. Mm -mm. That's <laughs> a deal. <laughs> Sharp turn. Uh, so I received an email our team wanted to share. This is really nice. Uh, so uh, she says, I met you several years ago. You did a story about Cheers Pablo. It's a place where you paint and sip cool place. Oh, right. Uh, Chriselle's her name. I'm the founder of Cheers Pablo. Uh, I've been painting for 26 years, and one, do one day while painting uh, in 2005, my doctor called to tell me I have breast cancer. It didn't run in her family. Uh, she was 40. I thought I should get a mammogram done. Long story short, she's still here. So it's 2017. It came back. I now have stage four breast cancer that has traveled to my lungs. Uh, but I do want you to know I'm on a new chemo drug that's amazing. And I ask that... Uh, to help me keep moving forward, she wanted to share this story. So I started playing pickleball two years ago. I looked forward every morning to get up and put on my outfit to go and play and see the folks at Shoreview Commons. Everybody knows her name. Look, here they are. One morning, a big surprise when I arrived to play and all the people there had pink shirts and hats Aww. on and bandanas to celebrate her. Very so nice. sweet. Uh, I don't tell folks about my diagnosis because I don't look sick anymore and being able to play pickleball helps me believe that I'm gonna beat this. Now, the reason I'm writing is because next month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I met an unlikely friend while having my treatment. He was sitting in my chair. It's a thing at treatment they have, the, the chair they like to sit in. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, they thought they only had cancer in common. Well, it turns out he also stage four terminal, but she noticed that he had a pickleball magazine, and that was all it took. He also plays pickleball. We're good buddies, Aww. and I think this would be a good story to encourage others to find what keeps them moving forward. Oh, my gosh. I and love that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Chriselle, thank you for sharing that. So uh, it is good. If you find something and find your tribe of people. And I was going to say, I'm it's all about your that. tribe of people, so. your group, and they're showing up in pink, and she had mm -hmm. no idea. You're teared That's up, too. I get it. Yeah, I'm all teared it's, up. It's, it's, it was so nice. Yeah. Well, last week, oh. Minnesota Mineral Club was in our studio, and I got a kick, obviously, about Uber Lights. They're interesting, right? We have Uber Lights that we want to show you. So Christopher 
emailed us and Christopher said to me, um, he said, so Uper lights are named for the UP, but can be found on the North Shore as well. I would love if y'all would tumble rocks, but it'd have to be a long-term investment in TV terms because you usually tumble at least three to four stages and for seven to 10 days for each stage. He mm. continues, I love the themes, though birds included, and I learn a ton from your show and about Minnesota, generally speaking. Treasure hunting, metal detecting theme, question mark. Tons I of information. I, I know. That. Tons of information on that with a lot of nuances and little known but critical information as to what, where, under what rules, etc. I'm just starting to learn, but it's fascinating. Thanks and carry on is what he writes. Yeah, that was a good email, Christopher. Uh, yeah. We appreciated that. Um, I think we kind of skipped over what, what Uper lights actually are. Do we need to tell people? Of people who weren't watching last week. Well, I'm sorry. No, not everybody I'm knows sorry what a you missed light. it last week. Not they everybody knows tuned in. what a Uper light is. Well, there are these lights that glow. You can find them on, and I also learned this from an email from a viewer, don't call it the UP of Michigan, because oh. what other state has a UP? So is it redundant to say UP I think that's of Michigan? Implying. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. It's the only state with an upper that. peninsula, yeah. so you can just say the UP. But apparently you can find these rocks, and when we were... Um, in Michigan with some friends of ours not too long ago, some family members, we were out having a bonfire and as the night came down, like all these people flooded the shoreline with these flashlights. And I was like, what are they looking for? And they're looking for these lights. When you have a special flashlight with like a UV lighter, you walk along the coast of the, the lake and you shine them and some of these lights glow. Hmm. Do we know why? What's in them that makes them glow? I don't know. We should ask the rock lady that, eh? Dang it, I didn't ask that day. But we know they're Uper lights. Yep. We got that established. They're a big you old know, thing. I use a, I use a black light to find accidents on the carpet. For the dog. That's what I use it for. Hmm. So it must have some kind of dog urine on it. That's why we can detect it. I don't think that that's what it is. <laughs> that that is very we, handy for that, though. I'm glad we kept you around for the segment, though. That was a Sorry for eating breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for your mail. Uh, up next, Valley Fair is brewing up some fun. A preview of this.